Hello guys, how are you? And welcome again to a new tutorial in Motion Cube. Today we will learn how to make a simple um, news transition. And if you did like this tutorial, maybe we will make something similar like intro or something else. But let's start with this. So here we have a, a comp that is full HD and it's 30 frame rate okay I use 13 second because uh, the transition will take only 6 to 7 uh, second let's go right click new and go to solid and right now don't uh, don't worry about the color we will go to effect and preset and let's uh, write uh, ramp and it will pop here a gradient ramp now let's choose um, a blue and a dark blue so this is the beginning here next what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this uh, comp here and we will make a mask and the mask we selected from here the square the uh, okay now let's invert the swap colors just like that uh, all right now I'm gonna press uh, M so we will go to mask and I'm gonna select um, the upper parts of the points here and let's move it a little bit just like that Next, let's center the anchor point and let's put it right in the center right now just to see how things is going to be. Now I'm going to duplicate uh, that and let's move it a little bit, um, let's bring it down there here. And I'm going to change the color to the color that uh, you saw in the tutorial well, let's choose something like that and also I can um, <coughs> go to mask also here so press M and let's move it a little bit there here now we'll go position and put it underneath. Now for this one here, we will go to drop shadow. So search for drop shadow and uh, let's put it, let's, let's uh, increase the distance here. And as you can see, it's in the wrong uh, position. So I'm gonna use the direction. Now let's go the distance right over here and let's make a bit of opacity here all right next we will make a shape and make sure you're not selecting anything here let's make a shape and make it at the center let's bring it let's make this about this size here Let's scale it a little bit. Now let's go uh, right click here, go to layer style and go to bevel and emboss. Now let's make the resolution full just to see exactly what we're doing. And let's go to the layer, bevel and emboss. Now let's see what we can do there. Right now it's inner, we can go to outer here, but I prefer inner here, just keep it as it is. And there is the depth, as you can see, give it this rim. And also, we can add a little bit of size there. Okay, so when you feel it's okay, okay. So now we go uh, press R, rotation, 
and we try to do a little bit just like the angle that we have uh, right right here so uh, press P position and put it right here put it right here and now we can change the uh, the color to the to this one here now we're gonna duplicate it and we're gonna place it right there here but we need to scale it also so scale it and let's make it just like this color or make it darker okay now we will add a little bit of rim light here so uh, go to effect and preset and search for uh, sweep and you will have the CC light sweep we want only on the edges so uh, let's first rotate this there and let's increase make it tighter let's increase the edge intensity here so now you can see that we start having uh, this rim light. Now we will duplicate Control D and this time we will go to the opposite um, go right over here and let's go to the opposite here just like this here and let's increase the thickness of the light alright now we will copy the exact same sweep light control C and go to the layer the underneath it and paste it let's solo that and see how it looks no it doesn't look like uh, at the same so let's go this one here is uh, is good the one in the right let's go to the left and let's move it where we want and I'm gonna increase also the intensity just like this a little bit there all right now we're going to make the opposite uh, uh, one here so I'm gonna duplicate it this solid here now it's time to rename a little bit there so press enter, name it uh, background, um, name it uh, blue slider, and blue slider. Oh, this is not the blue slider, I'm sorry. This is the yellow. And this is the one with the blue, blue S slider. And this one also the blue slider, name it X. So it's in the other uh, position. So I'm gonna go transform here and flip it uh, let's try it vertically yes now let's put it uh, above the background now let's go to position uh, let's put it right over here all right and now also I'm going to um, duplicate this plate here let's control D and go and bring it let's bring it right over here and now again I'm gonna duplicate that but this time let's take it uh, right over here all right, now let's bring the city. So let's go to um, project, 
and we have this metropolis uh, city footage that uh, I took it from Invato Element. So here is the city at the background. Now I don't want to to move the the city at the background because it's already have an animation as you can see. So what I want to do is first I'm going to tint it. So let's go to tint so it will have no color right now. You go see with the tint you don't have color. And then uh, I'm going to go into overlay. Or you can go to soft light. You can choose let's let's try uh, lighten yeah, lighten here is, is better. So press T, which is the opacity. And let's bring it down there a little bit there. All right. Now we want the main slide to put the city on. So I'm going to duplicate that city, which is tinted already. Now let's go to the blue... Um, to the blue one, and which is this one here. All right, uh, let's add a mask on that. And okay, first let's set the position. So let's start right, let's say right from here. But for that, maybe we don't want a lighten. So let's try to uh, convert that to add. And uh, next we will add a mask, but not now. So you see the blue one here, we'll duplicate it. And uh, we'll go at the top of the city here. Let's make this alpha mat. And now with the alpha mat, you see it's only on the plate. And now we can move the city. So I'll go position. And let's move until you reach about uh, 10 seconds here. And let's move it a little bit. We don't want a lot of movement. So let's go to quarter and see how it looks now. All right. Maybe I will take it uh, to something more than 13 to the back. Yeah, much better. Okay. Now, when that is set here, you can also add a mask if you want. So uh, you can bring an ellipse tool and just. Uh, create a mask okay so let's select okay select the mask I'll show you now what we're gonna do and play with the with the mask just like that the handles of the mask and now you can um, press F on the mask and you will go to mask feather. And let's make a little bit of feather here. So, okay. So right now, this is what we have. All right, which is cool. Now I'm gonna go to text and uh, let's now create the text and let's name it. Let's make a caps news. Um, let's go to the um, character here, increase the world news here. Now let's make the anchor point to the center. I'm going to add a little bit of drop shadow. 
so use some drop shadow now let's duplicate that text and let's make it um, morning now let's bring it down move that caps and I'm gonna make some space with the word here this is where we want this to be and also let's create um, a shape layer here so let's create a shape layer and it's going to be a darker blue as you can see here let's put it underneath the morning and underneath the news it's okay let's make the anchor point right to this side here put it there put the news here and right now we don't have any animation still only the background moving all right so let's now create um, a simple animation uh, right over here so first uh, let's make this plate here move let's go to 8 and let's move it a little bit so let's see okay it's moving let's also move um, those plates also so go to 8 and move it and now we can offset this and we're using only a, uh, a linear, as you can see, keyframe. Okay, now let's offset this a little bit there. And let's move it right there. Now you're going to see some variation with the movement here. Okay, cool. Now also what I want to do is I want to create a glass uh, right above here. In order to create that glass we will uh, we will use this one here the, the one at the back. I'm going to duplicate it and let's put it right above here. Now let's go to the anchor point of the mask and bring it right there. Now I'm going to go to toggle uh, switch mode and let's go to adjustment layer and right now it's going to disappear and it will only have the gradient. Let's delete that gradient and uh, I don't want also to drop shadow. Let's keep the light sweep if you want or you can disable see uh, what you can get with that but let's keep one uh, light sweep here. Okay, so I'm going to go at transform. I'm going to scale it a little bit, so I'm going to start having this uh, scale effect here. But still, it doesn't look like a glass, so I'll duplicate that and I'll remove that um, adjustment layer. And I'm going to go and put a bevel alpha. So let's bevel alpha. Now let's uh, go to fold here. See what we can get with this bevel alpha here. Okay, so we got now an edge uh, right over here. This is what we want. And now uh, I'm going to make the blend mood to lighten. Let me see. Okay, lighten is good. Now let's go to T and let's bring the opacity down a little bit uh, also I will play with the uh, the CC light sweep here so let's see what we can do okay so you start to see the light here let's now start increasing a little bit there so you see here it's like a glass um, lights going through the glass here 
Now let's give it a movement, or I think it's really movement. It, it, it has a... Yeah, there is a movement on this layer. Okay, make sure that uh, you're changing both layers here, or you can link uh, this layer uh, 4 to layer 3. It's really up to you, but I want to move it maybe faster than the rest. So let's go to 10. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. So let's now make the animation for the news here. So go P position and press three time page down. So we will jump uh, 13 frame. Uh, another one here. Make a key and then move the news right to the side. And I'm gonna trim the layer here. Make the animation. Uh, oh, right now we are at the value. Let's go to speed. Let's make it just like that. Now let's press space. Okay, but I want uh, I want this layer to stay moving until it reach the center. So I'll go until go into six second here. Now let's bring that news right to the center. But right now, if you you can see here that it's not good. So the the animation is finished right over here. Then it's continue. And that because of the uh, the easy ease, and if you go to the key, you can see here what is going on here. Uh, so there is a, a a little bit of a drop in the speed. Then it's continue its way. So that's not what we want. So what I want to do is I want to go to the value graph, and here uh, we can separate dimension. Um, by going right to separate dimension and now I'm gonna make it smooth just just like that now let's play see it's moving with the smooth way okay so we've done that let's play again wait a minute yeah I think um, I'm gonna bring it right two second here. Maybe, yeah. Or maybe faster, you know. Yeah, let's make it faster. Yeah. Okay. Now this um, box here, or rectangle. Let's go to scale and remove this um, constraints proportion. And let's press the scale. And let's scale it down until you reach zero. Also, let's go to speed. Make it smooth. Just like that. So, news, morning, and now I'm gonna bring it. Uh, duplicate this layer and put it above the morning and let's set alpha mat and right now this is what we have okay if you want more interesting you can go to uh, morning here and you can add animation Let's make it easy easier. Let's see now. Yeah. Okay. Now we finish with the main. Okay, maybe this guy here will move also. The, this plate here. The one at the back. I'm gonna move it in another direction here. So it will give 
like it's, it's more cool okay I'm gonna move the rest now so this plate also the yellow one let's move it That's cool. All right. Now it's time to select all the layers. Press U so it all will uh, unfold. And we will take everything to a one comp. So press Control Shift C and let's name it, uh, I don't know, maybe main. And uh, Right now, I will go to the project here and let's bring this reporter. Let's put it above. Now, as you can see, it needs to be scaled. Okay, so now let's imagine that this reporter is speaking. So at one second here, it will come just like that. All right, but the thing that also um, I want to change uh, right over here is uh, you see go ramp here. Let's try to make it yellow. So I think it's better, and also the light sweep is. Uh, too much here and maybe the, the this add here we can just make it lighten uh, it's much better yeah okay I like it more now let's uh, go to the main here and let's take this blue control C and uh, I'm gonna throw it right over here now you can remove everything. You don't need any any of those layers. We only need this mat. And uh, I will create another uh, layer here. This is going to be the alpha. For I'm gonna uh, leave a space here. It will give something special for the animation. Um, I'm gonna go to mask here and um, let's set this long here and if you now move a position you see the layer here is ending so that's not what we want so let's go to scale and uh, let's scale scale it just like that go to position and see if it's cover all but now let's also um, fix the mask I'll go right over here and make it identical to the layer above it okay go to position here And uh, I will make this layer. Um, now let's go to position and go one, two, three, page down. Make it out of the comp, and at the beginning, make it also out of the comp. So this is the animation what we have. Let's make it smooth. Now the other one here, let's copy the position and go to this one here and paste it. And go to the end frame and make it full. Make sure it covers all the comp. Alright, so this is what we want. Now 
we will make a control C and uh, let's name it uh, maybe alpha layer here and uh, let's pre-comb this so name it uh, transition go inside here and go to alpha okay. and make this to stencil alpha here okay that is what we have and when we reach six second we will control D duplicate that layer and trim it and then we go right click here and let's go to time and press time reverse layer let's bring it to seven now this is what we have so the news will come then it's gonna disappear again just like that okay make it longer a little bit there so you can end this main uh, right over here so now we don't have anything okay <laughs> let's go back to comp 2 now so as you can see then at 7 second it goes back to the reporter but let's make it more interesting by adding the glass effect which is if you let's uh, duplicate this layer so let's bring it forward here so it'll come uh, right over here so I will go now to effect control and let's first let's make it a um, adjustment layer I'm going to go to a transform let's bring the transform just a little bit we start to see the effect uh, right over here and um, also I will make this tent got tent here and let's uh, duplicate this layer and remove that uh, adjustment layer and let's make it uh, overlay and we can go to this transition here and let's add a light sweep so uh, where's light sweep here let's increase the width the edge intensity I'll keep it like that it's okay you can also, uh, if you want, you can give it a color like blue and um, a yellow. And also, I can add to the adjustment layer here a blur. So let's go fast blur here. Let's add a little bit of blur here. And now, the only thing we need to add on this uh, transition is the uh, bevel alpha or maybe bevel edges also will work let's see no 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 forget about bevel edges just stick to the bevel alpha and uh, increase the thickness here as you can see bring the light so now we created this let's see all right but okay now we will move it under the main transition okay so all right now also if you want 
see this movement so interesting okay so uh, that's the end of our tutorial today so as I told you before we have um, every week to um, to tutorial and it's gonna be interesting uh, believe me so please support this channel subscribe to learn something new all right see you again in uh, another new tutorial